Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to be playing more Toxic, the Bant Toxic deck, which is really blue-white, but add the Rot Priest in there because it's so strong of a card individually that we kind of have to. But this is probably, hands down, the scariest deck and best of one to face off against because you know your life total does not matter and there's really no way currently to get rid of that poison count whenever they get you high and you're just waiting to be proliferated out of the game. Outside of that, we have a dominant performance today with the deck as well, racking up an incredible win rate, which will probably be in the title or a thumbnail, so you already know what's to come. But So let's get out there, let's represent these games well, and if you enjoy the games and enjoy my content, please, for me, subscribe to the channel. I hope you all enjoy it, and let's just get out there and game okay i mean yeah i can't really name a better starting hand you get to play the guy that if he dies he makes another might into a hive right away and then we have a fading hope play another one of these hive will most likely get that poison online see swamp could see see a cut down come in play looks like that's what we're gonna see here back no? You take one poison, kind of wild to see. Let's get the hive up. Argument could be play Skrelv and play another one of these, but I think we can tell based on that hesitation that they have a cut down. So our Skrelv was probably going to die anyway. So let's set up the thing early to start off our play. Put a 2 2 in play. That's fine with me. Point. Drove down. This down. Have you pick this back up? You know, do our poison thing here. The scrub hive. I'll let that go to keep finding things. The best thing for us is if they tap out again and do that. We can either give something protection, just keep attacking through it and ignore it. Or if we get to the part where we get the poison high enough, guess what? We can start turning this on and just trade that off for free. We don't have to worry about anything. And our opponent realizes that. All right, my opponent goes first. We'll keep this. We start off with a Skrelv and then play a Rot Priest. Make it, make it hard on our opponent. Uh, the sudden pause is the nut draw of double Rot Priest against a Swamp deck. No bat. No one with Affliction, that's fine. Rot Priest. Hot priest and then we if they try to remove one they get two poison if they don't remove it on time we have four poison lined up right here if not six because march will target both of these and both will see that target and then they'll both trigger at the same time coming exponentially crazy another c core is good kind of but it's good enough. We'll play this. We'll exile this underneath. We'll attack. These can't block. So we get two poisons started. And again, removing this. Two poison. Removing one of these. Two poison. The black deck doesn't really have a way outside of Liliana to start the train of... Oh, we'll make you... Oh. Is this what it feels like to play this deck? People? Yeah. <laughs> like... What do they do differently? They have nothing they could have done there. The only thing possible is this being cut down. But to target this with cut down, you still have to take two poison. The Rot Priest, and there's no way to stop it. So, very, very nice. We come away with another win immediately almost. And just like that, we're moving on. All right, we are on the play. We can get a Skrelv down immediately. A lot of times I like playing this, but... Being on the play with two Skrelves in hand, I think we definitely want to throw one out early. Because it's most likely, it's more likely to get removed. And if they remove this straight up, let's burn. Yeah, see, that gets removed immediately. So now for me, I'd play Thicket, play second Skrelv, play a Chorus. Then we try to get the poison up and then get the hive online where my things will get lifelink. That'll be the biggest, biggest problem so far, thus far. Go here. We'll attack. 
No block. Okay. You have a legendary creature, so this is one cheaper. But I'm gonna go ahead and play this hive and I'll let them be unhinged for one turn, I think. Even though it doesn't feel that great. But if we have a blue source there, we probably weirdly can win that game right off the rip. Bouncing this sets so much tempo back. Attacking, okay. That implies that they have something on the back end or assume we might have something, but they monster straight here. A lot of damage. I could be dead here. It's very possible. Like double monster rage into a white spell that pumps it more. You know, it's, it's not as big of a pump as normal, but again, this is already 10. Mono, sure. Down to nine. This will trigger. Kind of needed a blue source. Falling short on that aspect. We'll attack. Don't really have a whole lot of choices outside of that. Put that four poison on. We just have to pass. Hopefully they'll go to combat like they just did and attack with this virtuoso, and then we can try to enganjo it. Uh huh. We'll try. They have the Lauren's escape. If they do, they win regardless. Uh, indestructible. Yep. Don't really have to watch this anymore. The game is over. Just like that, we get outpaced by another all-in deck that I think if we have the blue mana for the Fading Hope, we actually end up winning this game. It's just a tough thing that happens sometimes. It goes first. No. Oh, double Rot Priest. Man, this hand's so good though. If we get to play these, oh my! I I just think we had to just play put fading hope on the bottom. Up. It seems a little bit slower. They're gonna be hinging on gaining life, but we don't really care about that. We're gonna play Skrelv and try to get the duelist down immediately. And after that, we'll play the Rot Priest so we can ensure that Infect's coming through. Blue White it is. Bliss. Hopefully no Counterspell. And immediately six. Attacks. We're just ending through our turn. Temporary Lockdown is obviously possible here, and that would be brutal. No second White, so we're feeling good now. Uh... This on the stack. Why did I need? Uh, yeah, you got it. I don't even know if I play a basic, to be honest. I play one. Sweet. Lucky, lucky us. Play one. Don't really want to commit and try to protect it. Here. Uh, protection from white. And we just set him to five poison because Skrelv gives us an additional toxic. So this technically says double strike, toxic one, toxic one. Just going to make their lane come in tapped. So it's, you have the lockdown right now. No lockdown from our opponent, and we are currently presenting lethal, whether they know that or not. Let's try this and see if they don't bait something, if we don't bait something out here. No? Hit. Poison. We hit and we hit for more poison. Then I honestly think we just wait. I think if we wanted to play around to populate, dang it. 
had to populate. It was... I wanted to play these, but I was afraid of a sunfall over, like, anything else. We'll play this. We'll play this. And then we'll just play the seed core because we don't really have a reason not to. Then we'll save this in case they try to play, like, a blocker or something. Just to populate, we're still left with mites behind. Combat attack. Elspeth smite. Does this work? I'm just I'm just curious if this works. No, I think it'll register it as a two whatever and the next ability won't work. Yeah, I don't think this will happen. Yeah, I didn't think so. I was just curious. I didn't know. Yeah, you know, it's one of the things where you gotta test it out. Then we'll play a duelist. Keep two creatures on the battlefield, if we can. Oh, am I gonna lose this to a make this peer because I was testing something? Ah, okay. As long as it's not make this peer, I don't really care. I was more or less caring if like, you know, it worked out to, to hurt me, to scare me. The worst part for them is, I mean, we're gonna stay in this game for the rest of the time. Do they make a 2-2 or they exile straight up? Hey, exile. Okay. Why this? Uh, in turn. We just need any of our proliferate spells. They make a, they make a two two. They meant nine. I mean, we just have to wait till we find one, and that is one to find. Why would you tap out? Why would you tap out? I don't tap out there. You can just block it for days. I know their, I think their goal was to make another 2-2 two -two and double block that. But I don't, I mean, maybe they didn't have counter spell and they just didn't have a choice regardless. But I think you, you try to represent that, but this is instant speed, right? Yeah. They're, Getting a control player to eight or nine is pretty much a death sentence if you haven't used any of your proliferate spells thus far. Because they have to then have a hard counter spell, especially with how much mana we had. They have to have a hard counter spell for every single one we put on the stack. When it was first, we can play Skrelv in the hive and maybe get an augury online. Who knows? Let's play the chorus. I think we're willing to barrel in a couple of times here. Probably we'll have to come in later. Esper, it seems. Then it will be pretty devastating. The rest. No. This one would you like? Sure. I think hives are actually going to be somewhat difficult for them to deal with. That card is legal? Who plays this? Hello? My opponent's not real. I got hit with a curse of silence in standard. And I just happened to have... Oh, we're playing against Axis. Okay. They're just like, if you play Relve Hive, you'll never get to resolve it. And I'm just like, okay. Point here. We'll name white. We'll attack. We'll put the poison up to three. And we're just going to sit here. And if they don't do anything, I'm going to snare their peacekeeper. It has vigilance, so of course they attack. And then I'm going to play land, play hot. Sure. I'll have you pick that back up. Thank you. Yeah, I'll proliferate one on you. Land. Play a hive. I cast a spell with his name. You may sacrifice curtain home if you do draw a card. That's up to them. You like to draw a card? You would. Nice. I uh, gotta use Phyrexian here. Oh, white. I'll hit you for two more. Gain two, you lose two. 
Isn't it crazy that they're at 16, but realistically they're at four? And it's unremovable for. All right. What would you like? Both not great. That one makes the most sense, though. Sure. Mm hmm. Just like a poison player's true dream would be. We're just going to take that and then get the hive back. I don't think I've ever seen anyone play Curse of Silence. This is like a mono red hand. We'll keep it. We'll draw the other white source. I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. Start off with the scrub always. Action lane for us. Don't you worry about it. We draw a blue lane. We're actually sitting really, really nice. Uh, I will discard a card. Probably Hive, I guess. Mm. Not looking great. Here. Green black. Attack. Poison? Play a single one of these. I'm really just keeping, I really just kept this one later just to really like limit test what we got going on here. Board skitter, okay. It's all fine. Hey, exile my cart. I'm good. Ooh. Again, sitting in that weird spot that if I, if I find it, I'm having a good time. Black attack. Five. Right now, it's literally like they're five, six, seven, eight. They're sitting at eight poison with this. It's like I'll fire this off, maybe grab another land, and then fire this off, maybe grab another land, and then bounce something. I mean, they're all active. Uh, sneaky, but I'll block like this. If this is the block, like here to here, and then I'll take it. I assume a shield is coming. Something similar. Maybe something to kill this, and then maybe they have a way to pop both of these. A seek to mirror, okay. They sack a token, what are you getting? Path the barrel, maybe. That'd be really nice because you would just leave your skitter behind. Can this even do that? I think it's any card. You don't cast it? Why? You sacked the permanent. Why not cast it? It's insane to me. Here. Uh, black. Attack. On the seven, you have three life left. I have it in hand. I just need to draw a land. Crazy to me, this game's even this close. Eleven cards deep now. We're bound to draw a land soon. You have to imagine. Now imagine if you would have put that in off the seats last turn. You know what I'm saying? I, that is like more confusing than it. Then they concede. The one lander gets there. They used Beseech last turn and they don't put it into play. And with Poison, we keep a one lander with just a scroll that they didn't remove. And the core is just attacked over and over again. Ta-da! Opponent goes first. I mean, we got Skrelv, Duelist, and all the bounce stuff in the world that we would want. This is pretty much the ideal setup, obviously, being on the play. Be a little bit better for us. Vampire, okay. Shouldn't be that bad of a matchup. We just have to make sure that our infect is faster than their drain and gain and shenanigans they might be doing.
Huh? Oh, it's that deck. Okay. Well, so this is the weird part where it's like, I think I played Duelist, but I attack with the Skrell. Just to get the poison online. Just so if I do Serum Snare or something, I do get the proliferate here. Adeline, sure. Adeline would be what I would bounce. Sure. Lock. We have first strike, so we can take that out pretty pretty cleanly. Oh, I think we actually play this so we have double blue online. Blue, white, bounce. Uh, not like to proliferate your warden. Uh, Rexian here, name red. Go to combat, hit, set you up to six poison. Then next turn, if this stays alive, we win the game. Isn't it crazy how fast that? Poison just gets to 10 before your aggro deck gets to uh, 20. I'm not even trying to say that in like sarcastic or like demeaning way. Is This is, I've had big gripes about this poison deck just like being allowed apparently. Because apparently that's fine. I mean, we'll, we'll let the value resolve. We have the mana. Uh, all we have to do here is bounce this epic here and then give this protection from white and then they lose the game so as you'll see we'll bounce here uh we don't really care what's on the top it doesn't matter we give this protection from white all they have is white creatures none of them can block and then we'll hit them for four more and just like that the deck with way more overwhelming board state loses because Skrelv giving our poison creature protection and poison not being a mechanic that you can get rid of I don't think there's a card that stops poison or like takes poison away. There is some cards like Malira that can kind of hinder it and make it way less prevalent, but like nobody's playing it. So here we are. That's them all. Know what those hands without the mana looks like. We do go first. So we'll just lead off with like a secret coast, play a C core, play a duelist, hope it lives and then kind of bounce and ride out on that creature. Hope it's enough. And if it's control, we have a Mirix. We just need one more land draw. Secret Coast comes in. Representing a lot of things. What I would assume is less likely. There's control. Throw this up. The only problem is they'll have direct removal for this duelist. Not necessarily the... Uh, not necessarily what we want. Like Elspeth Smite's obviously turned online here. We'll attack. Hope it hits. Oh, it does. Number one hits. Number two hits. Sure. We'll go. Maybe they'll try to lock this down or remove it on their turn. And then we can fading hope it. Uh, the big problem about playing against this deck here that we're currently playing is the fact that things like March and stuff are so awkward to try to play around. Move to combat. Back again. What do we have now? Elspeth Smite. Ganjo. Uh, we'll Fading Hope this. Fading Hope probably has no value anywhere else. Experimental Augury is really nice. Then we'll replay this back down. We don't have the mana to activate the Mirix, so no real point in, in testing for that. Comes in. Is there a Jace to be played? Ossification. Okay. Well, we fall short on that one. That's for sure. So... We have some cool plays. I don't know if I've ever seen Serum Snare used for this. So I'm pretty excited to do it. But it says non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Therefore, like... Oh, this is... This is gas. So, one, two... Let's... Let us make a token here. We have one basic island in the deck. So this will get blown up. We'll leave a mite behind. We'll go get our basic island and then we'll snare the saucification. And hopefully they don't have make this spear. They obviously could. I feel like, ooh, I didn't like that lag. 
are getting them. Never seen a market gnome in my life, dude. Just a bounce market gnome. Why not? Kind of does. It's essentially the same. Market gnome will just get to block this off the creature for a while anyway. March. Okay. I bet. Smite? Disenchant. Destroy target artifacts or enchantment. You're playing disenchant? There's no way I'm playing against a real deck right now, right? I can't I can't in good faith believe this is real. There's a duelist. Very nice. Obviously we'll put that poison up just ever so slightly here. And we'll put this duelist in play. And I'll just Hide out my land, I suppose. It doesn't really do me any benefit of holding. I don't really have a whole lot of cycle things. I just realized that I don't actually have a green mana outside of this seed core, so that's kind of that's kind of dangerous. We'll only march our creature if they go to remove it. We'll march their gnome if they try to leave it. Maybe. Kinda depends. Because we can always pump this duelist and pop this gnome out of the way, I guess. Just hold on to the march. My turn. Sure. Combat. Attack. Block. We corrupt. It's gone. So they get to draw a card. Not like the worst. Well, strike goes nowhere. We play this. And maybe they tap out, like maybe farewell or something. Kind of gets us off the board and we'll double phase them out. Quick study number two. Third, their mana's rest now, at least for this turn. Oh, we get it to populate out. Oh, we don't even have to use the march. Nice, 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 nice. Go find two cards. We'll draw. Attack. Put a poison on. Put more poison on. You could argue we should buff this, but not that opposed. We'll play a chorus and we'll pass holding up this march depending what kind of board wipe it is we could even let these get blown up i assume they had to find a board wipe sure three I think we should probably just play around, make the spear. Target the one that they're targeting, target the other one. Hmm. End up falling short regardless. And that'll go away. Play around, make this spear at least. Can't be too upset about it. Maybe I'll swear smites online. Knows. Got something pausing them. Not a fan of that. Back. Yeah. Mm, that's what we got on board. We just leave it. We can play this next. Normally good against mono red. Not necessarily good against us. That's the hard part about playing against poison decks. I've been saying it's the entire video, but how devastating would that have been for us if we were red and they're just like, okay, you have one card left, two one ones to play. Let me just gain six here. But instead, there's still one boys in the way. Yeah, man land they could bring up. They have to be able to remove both of these. I'm not sure if they can. I'm honestly more flabbergasted that they put disenchant in their deck. I, I don't... I've seen two cards today that I didn't even know were legal and standard. That's that mythic gameplay experience. You know what I'm talking about. Bring this up. Might be just a bit of... Yeah, I'm going to say it's just... Basically a concession, I would imagine. I mean, uh, not a whole lot more to say. But yeah. Alright, well, I think... Uh, 
I think I proved my point today and why the toxic deck is kind of annoying to play against in best of one. Uh, we end up going nine and one. Uh, or ten. No, we played ten matches, nine and one. Or, um, some of them were pretty much the same. Some of them are going to be cut just because, like, just game wise, it wasn't too crazy. For example, like, it was pretty much like. Brelv, Duelist, hit you, play Rot Priest, hold up the Bell Snare or Serum Snare, and just go from there. I mean, just this card alone, putting an extra Toxic on a creature for some reason, I understand it being a protection to some extent, but giving this Duelist extra Toxic or Poison or Infect or whatever you want to call it, and making this just four Poison on Contact on turn three is wild to me. It is so insane especially also protecting it like it's it's just protecting it and then we have things like rot priests that are so hard especially like we played against a lot of mono black today which was kind of weird i do know mono black in the past was pretty popular but it's kind of falling out of favor right now because just doesn't work as well without the meat hook massacre the invoked spares things like that it might get busted in the next set but who really knows right now but this deck is just absurd like best of one this deck is so strong and i just I just don't get it. It makes me so mad. <laughs> like, whenever I'm playing, like, a slower deck and my opponent's on the play and they're, like, turn one Skrelv, it it hurts more than turn one Monastery Swiss Spear, I think. At least then I know if I gain life, like, I'm protecting myself. This deck is, like, how many, how many proliferators they got because I don't know. <laughs> so, I don't have a whole much more to say outside of that. I think the gameplay pretty much stood for itself on how... Uh, fast it can get the job done and how resilient it can actually be with using lands like Mirex or using cards like the Skrelv's Hive to constantly make 1-1s one and using the actual Might itself to give everything protection. I think we saw Annex Century probably become the MVP in a lot of our matchups where it was just like, play this, exile thing, rip another one off the top, jam it again, call it a good day. It was, it was quite absurd. But outside of that, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you around in the next one. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.